Governor Johnson, thanks for joining Stansbury Radio. You bet. Thanks for having me on. My pleasure. Unfortunately, Porter is out today. He's not feeling well, but he wanted to ask a very simple question to you, which is, why would you want to be president? Well, I wouldn't be doing this if, number one, I didn't think I could do a good job, and number two, uh, the country's in deep, deep trouble, and um, I don't think uh, either... Uh, Obama or Romney are offering up the solutions to what we face. Uh, I believe uh, that unless we balance the federal budget, uh, we're going to find ourselves in the midst of a monetary collapse, and that's going to be when the dollars in our pocket aren't worth a thing because of the ensuing inflation that's going to go along with borrowing and printing money to the tune of 43 cents out of every dollar that we're spending. I also believe that there's that crony capitalism in this country is alive and well. Uh, I am the only candidate that's proposing to uh, eliminate income tax, corporate tax, uh, abolish the IRS, and replace all of that with one federal consumption tax. In this case, uh, I am embracing the fair tax, believing that it would reboot the American economy, uh, that it would make our exports uh, 23% more competitive, the answer when it comes to China, and then it's really the answer when it comes to jobs because, hey, in a zero corporate tax rate environment, if the private sector doesn't create tens of millions of jobs, what's it going to take to create tens of millions of jobs? I see manufacturing that has left the United States flocking back to the United States with a zero corporate tax rate environment. Now, Governor Johnson, just for a little brief history, when you were governor of New Mexico, you were the king of uh, vetoing items. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Because I like to give a brief history so people can kind of do some research on you as well. Well, Aaron, as governor of New Mexico, I may have vetoed more legislation than the other 49 governors in the country combined. I vetoed 750 bills. I had thousands of line items beyond the 750 bills. Only two were overturned, so it made a difference when it came to billions of dollars worth of spending. Uh, It made a difference when it came to laws that, in my opinion, were just going to add time and money to your and my life and wasn't going to make your or my life any healthier, any safer. Why do it? Uh, in a state that was that is two to one Democrat, New Mexico, uh, the ultimate verdict of all those vetoes was um, I got reelected to a second term uh, by a bigger margin than the first time, and I just think it speaks volumes to the fact that uh, people really appreciate good stewardship of tax dollars. If, from what I understand, if we can get. of the popular vote, you'll automatically be invited to the presidential debates. How would that change the dynamics? Well, Aaron, um, um, that would be the only scenario under which I might actually win this election. Now, that could be crash and burn, but I think it's important for the American people to hear uh, a third voice. And I'm going to argue that I'm not the third voice, that I'm really the only voice. I mean, Uh, I'm the only candidate that does not want to bomb Iran. I'm the only candidate that wants to get out of Afghanistan tomorrow, bring the troops home. I'm the only candidate that really believes marriage equality is a constitutionally guaranteed right. I'm the only candidate that wants to end the drug wars. I'm the only candidate that would not have signed the National Defense Authorization Act, allowing for you and I to be arrested and detained without being charged. Uh, I would like to repeal the Patriot Act. These are big differences. And Aaron, I am saying I'm comparing myself to these other two guys because there are going to only be three candidates on the ballot in all 50 states. And I'm one of those three. Uh, So I think that that is significant. There are other third parties, uh, but none of the other third parties are going to come close to uh, 50 state uh, ballot access. What's your stance on the Federal Reserve? Uh, I would abolish the Federal Reserve if the Federal Reserve, if that legislation passed Congress. It's an inside job. Uh, Banks are loaning money, or excuse me, Federal Reserve loaning money to the banks at 0%. Now, that's our money, and that's printed money. Uh, But 
banks aren't loaning it out to you and I. They're buying treasuries uh, because why take a risk when you can make that a closed loop? It's an inside job, and that isn't what this country is supposed to be about. This country is supposed to be about equal treatment for everybody. Well, uh, bankers uh, don't come under that category. It's funny, I was just reading an article this morning about 40 compelling reasons why Mitt Romney and Obama are the same candidate. And that's why I think it's so imperative for America to get out there and support you, because I'd love to see you in these debates. I know that you'll challenge them on questions that they want to bury, like all the things you just covered with the NDAA, with the Federal Reserve, with the Patriot Act. These are our rights and our liberties. I'd love to see you out there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do our best to to get this podcast to as many people as possible, and see if we can get some new sources to pick it up. Governor Johnson, I want to thank you very much for your time. And if our listeners are interested, I'm sure uh, you'd love some donations to ramp up your campaign. Where can they go? Well, uh, get online, check out what I've been saying, Gary Johnson 2012.com. Aaron, I appreciate you having me on. Uh, I'll, I'll end this by saying uh, just the other day um, I heard that our $16 trillion debt, the Democrats are responsible for $8.5 trillion of that debt. Republicans are responsible for $7.5 trillion of that debt. Hey, a vote, tweedledee, tweedledum, what's the difference going to be? Just reiterating on what you earlier said. I agree. Thank you so much, Governor, and good luck out there. Thank you very much.